My mom put me on the front of her surfboard uh, before I could even remember. I was two years old. You know, I just couldn't get her off of my board, you know? I guess Honolulu just got tired of watching. My mom would leave me on the beach. <laughs> okay, you sit on the beach, you know, for a couple. Mom's gonna catch like just two waves and then I'll come back for you. And then she'd go out and catch a few. And then I would be like, no fair, my turn, mommy. And so she'd, I'd beg her to come get me. That was two, come and get me. Like, it's my turn now. And so I'd go back get her, take her out for two, and then, you know, I'd be like, okay, mom's gonna catch one. But, you know, it kind of just went like that, and she just, she loved it. Even, I think I was four years old when I did my first contest. Ever since then, I just couldn't get enough, too, of competing, you know. Incredible degree of difficulty right there. If you, if you want a point of differentiation, do it like that. That was incredible. Switch oh, chance. switch barrel. Switch two. Oh, she's looking good. She's deep. She's deep. She's good. Oh, oh. switch two. Been coming out. Chicken you, skin. I got you chicken can skin. You hear the bass is going off over there. I pulled it. I was like, no, there's no way. <laughs> that was so good. Hey, I'm really oh fucking afraid. Ten, ten, ten. ten. Yeah. Nowadays, I spend a lot of time on the road, whether it's competing or free surfing. Yeah, kind of just cruising and enjoying myself. It's always fun, but there's really nothing like coming home to Hawaii. I was born on the island of Oahu, but when I was two, my family moved to Maui. When I graduated high school, I had my little surfing girl crew, and actually that was the first time we decided to go kind of on my first surf trip off the island. So I go to Oahu and we end up on the North Shore and I was just blowing my mind thinking, wow, so many incredible surf spots in such a small area. I'd never seen anything like it. And so I remember just being blown away and I moved to Oahu because I was like, you know, I was following my heart in the love of surfing, you know. Oh, I, I really can't say there's anywhere I'd rather be. Uh, Hawaii is pretty great in the wintertime. All my friends are here from all over the world, and it's a really good time. I love growing up in Hawaii. I wouldn't wish for anything else. So for Kula, just being part of a surfing family, she ended up, you know, surfing right along with us. I have so many memories of those two just catching waves. And I don't know, when you love surfing as a mom and you see your daughters surfing together and the older one nurturing the younger one, I don't know, that just fills my heart. <laughs> My sister taught me how to surf and she would always take me out to tandem and eventually she would just let me go out on a separate board but she would still be super close to me and she would catch waves with me and then she just started pushing me out on waves all by myself. 
know, every time Honolulu is around and they get a chance to surf, they, they surf together. Kula gets so thrilled, like, you know, anything to hang out with the older sister. It's always super exciting, um, like going back to Haleiwa, where I, I learned how to surf. And just kind of, it's a special thing to surf with my mom and sister there. And we'll all play on the inside, even though like we don't go out the back. It's just like a really special place for us to even just go and hang out and surf together. are um, barrel racing in the rodeo industry because um, I'm a huge animal lover and I just love big animals so horses are kind of like the biggest closest animal to me. I love surfing too, but I never really wanted to be competitive in it, just because my sister was really the competitive one. She's a little fighter, you know, when it comes to competition. And we knew she had what it takes to become a champion. So we supported that 100%. Malibu is really special to me because my longboarding career started there. I won my first surf contest there when I was 10. Uh, so winning my third world title was just a really special thing. Serving is a really special part of the Hawaiian culture, so to represent Hawaii and win three world titles is really special. Honolulu, she just makes us so proud. She's a three-time Hawaiian world champion, and I hope she makes Hawaii proud too.